In this video, I'm going to show you how to use all these references that we've added into Zotero for our academic writing. So here I've got basically my Google Documents folder and I'm going to click plus to create a new blank Google document. I'm going to give it a name. So we'll call it Zotero Test Essay. So in here, you know, I can start typing away wherever I want to do. And then maybe I need to put a quotation in here. So I would go back to the first book that I wanted to use. And I would go into my notes. So I can just copy the notes and paste them in here like that. Now I need to do the reference. So going back into my Zotero, I would go to File, uh, Zotero, go to Preferences. And here is where I would choose which style I want to use. So for example, APA 6th edition. So I can close that down. So I can go back here, select the book that I want to do the reference for here. And on a Mac, it's Command Shift A. And then in here, make a space, and it's just Command V. And we've got the reference here. Now, we can see there's a mistake here because that's not the correct way to format the name. And that's coming up here because there's a mistake on the original for how it got imported into Zotero. So that means on Amazon Books, this was listed wrong. So here I can see that the family name is K. So I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to paste that in here. So now I've changed it to K John William. You can delete that. Now I know the name is correct. So I'll go back in here again. Command Shift A. And V. And there's our reference. Now if I need to add a page number, it's page 56. I can manually add that. If I don't need the page number, I can leave that out. And same thing, I can type a few more things. Uh, maybe I need to do a reference for the video here. Select the video. Command Shift A, it's Control Shift A on a Windows machine, and Command V, Control V on a Windows machine. Now there's no date here, and I know that there is a date for this movie, so again, that's been missed out when it got imported, so I can go back and add the date. Let's just delete that, and we can do that again. Command Shift A, Command V. And there we go. And on and on and on it goes, repeating in a similar process until we get to the work cited. And in the work cited, hopefully we've cited all of these items basically in our paper. So I can command click all of them, drag them over, and hey presto, there is your formatted list. Now, just from having a look through here, I can see that this one looks wrong because it's all in caps. So what that tells me is the original, the names have been imported wrongly. And I would just go back and change these into lowercase and then re-import that one particular item. But other than that, that's my formatted list done very, very quickly.